On Wednesday, Mo3, a lot of people know Mo3 as one of the up-and-coming rappers in Dallas, sings and raps with a lot of pain in his voice. Unfortunately, he was shot and killed on the I-35 East Interstate in his hometown, Dallas, Texas. Like I said, Mo3 was apparently driving on the interstate when a man pulled up on him, started shooting. Mo3 was able to get up out of his car and try to make a run for it. But unfortunately, the gunman was able to shoot Mo3, left him dead right on the interstate. He got away from the scene. One other person was shot. Uh, it is believed that it was a non-life-threatening injury, so they're expected to make a recovery. But again, we did lose Dallas' his own Mo3 as he was continuing just to progressing in his career, get, still gaining that momentum. Uh, I want to send some prayers to that man's family. Obviously, losing anyone can never be easy. But when you combine the fact that this gentleman was likely the staple and the financial figure for his family during this present time, him being the artist, getting his music off the ground, uh, a lot of steam in Dallas. And, you know, I talked to some of my friends and, and family that live in Dallas, like, yo, you know, Dallas has long lusted for that artist that has really popped off the ground. A lot of people believe Yellow Beasy was the guy. He still got a wave, but Mo3 was the guy I believed had the opportunity to really be Dallas's premier act because he's, he, ha he had a lot of talent. And the fact that that gentleman has been taken away from us, like so many artists have been in 2020. I mean, I can't come on here and keep saying it's sad. I guess I can, but it doesn't change anything. It's, I'm going to say the same thing over and over again. I'm going to say, yo, it's sad. I'm going to tell y'all we got to do better. And then it seems like every month or so, I'm going to come right back on this platform and say it happened again. Another artist gunned down. Now, I, I mostly saw Mo3's music on the snippets. I, I call him one of the kings of snippets on Instagram. I say Meek Mill was one and I say Mo3 was two. All the snippets that they do on their IGs always fire. And that was how I got put on to a lot of the records that I listened to Mo3. I think the only project that I listened to Mo3 full, uh, fully through was the one that he did, the collab joint with Boosie. I think that was the first time I listened to an entire project of Mo3. Speaking of Boosie, his reaction was like most, just sad. On his Twitter account, Boosie said, I'm lost for words. Tip, my boy, Mo3, see you when I get there. Uh, for those who don't know, Mo3 was closely associated with Boosie. As a matter of fact, he had long wanted, he wanted a shot to work with Boosie many, many years ago. He called Boosie not just his favorite artist, but his favorite street guy altogether. He got the opportunity. He, he actually linked up with Boosie at a meet and greet that Boosie was doing down in Texas. And the first time around, he talked to Boosie outside of a hotel room and, and he wanted to pick with Boosie. And Boosie was like, hurry up, take this picture. When he met Boosie at that meet and greet, second time around, uh, according to Mo3, he said, uh, this time around, Boosie knew who he was. And not only did he know who he was, he wanted to work with him. Boosie was like, yeah, they tell me you the, you the ish down here in Texas, in Dallas. So it, it was a fulfilling moment for Mo3 to be on a roll with Boosie and, 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 and do music with Boosie. I just saw a Mike Tyson interview and, you know, Boosie was doing an interview with Mike Tyson for the most part, but guess who was right next to him? It was Mo3. Boosie was grooming Mo3 to be a big deal. Boosie believed in Mo3, so you obviously know he, he's heartbroken by this one. A lot of people heartbroken by this one. I saw uh, Mo3's manager, Brandon Rainwater. I want to read you guys a couple things that uh, Brandon had to say about his artist, Mo3. He said he spoke for the black community, the white community, the Mexican community, for all races. We lost a good speaker, a good poet, and an artist. He never cared what anybody said, what anybody else said about you. He took how he looked at you, and that's how he looked at you. He didn't care about the surrounding sounds. He gave me a job, and I ain't ever been nobody. He went on to say, in the midst of COVID and this this year that we've had, uh, when COVID first came, Mo3 went house to house paying everybody's rent. He bought people's shoes. He was a good hearted person. Those are some words again from Brandon Rainwater. That was the manager of Mo3. Brandon also said that uh, Mo3 owned his own, his, he owned his masters and he owned his publishing as well. So obviously this is a very sad story, but a little bit of, it's a little bit of positive news in this one is 
you know, as long as the fans out there continue to stream Mo3's music, hopefully finances won't be a problem for the foreseeable future for his family. I know he had kids, family, the baby mamas and all that. I, I hope that, that that money is able to hold his family over as this was obviously an unexpected shooting death. I mean, what do you want to call it? It's just sad, man. I, even more sad, I saw this picture floating around. People were tagging me in this picture. Remember, King Von had got killed in Atlanta where he was living at just six days earlier. And um, somebody tagged me in a picture of King Von next to his kids and siblings and, you know, youngers, youngins and, and Mo3 next to, to his youngins and, you know, his kids as well. And, and again, two black leaders taken from their families in, in a little less week's time. Both just so happen to be rappers. And uh, this is where we're at with him. I, I'm, I'm noticing a trend in rap, right? It's not the superstars that we're losing anymore, the stars in the rap game, right? It's the guys that are probably more popular online than what their music is, right? With Instagram and YouTube and all these interviews and all these blog sites that cover these artists. I'm noticing a very sad trend, but I please, I want you to kind of listen to what I'm saying here and, and, and take this in. There is a trend of the rapper that is unfortunately getting gunned down. It's not the superstars, but it's that rapper. Just, just hear what I'm saying here. That rapper that has a lot of buzz on the internet, music still trying to catch up with the internet buzz. I'm noticing for some weird reason that seems to be the target. That seems to be the guy that has the biggest uh, burden on his back and the one that's struggling to find stability in their hometown and even when they move out of their hometowns. So, again, I want to send some prayers and some love to Mo3's family. Actually, I'm going to leave this video and actually really pray for Mo3's family, King Von's family as well, during this very tough time. I'm, I'm assuming for all parties involved, I'm wishing for justice in, in, in all these situations, man. Whatever justice is, by the way, I'm wishing for it. Rest in peace to Mo3, going too soon, taken away from not just his fans, not just the rap game, most importantly, his family at the age of 28. Scheming. I've been looking for a lick, my pocket's empty. Damn, I must be dreaming. Cut a partners that I love, so they gonna kill me. And it just might be the reason. I'm so numb to the pain. I go dumb in the brain. My partner gotta be silent like the blood in my vein. I'm so tired of broken love and tired of hoes running gang. Baby, what's the motor? I gotta stay focused. The love I got for you is not the same. You gotta show me. We selling dope out in the rain. Got tired of them eviction notices. When I ain't have a thing, your baby girl, she barely noticed me. I won't tell her so. When it get real, oh, I'm a shark. Hope the light don't ever shine on the shit that I did in the dark. Like the time we slid and hit old board and put the car in park. But that's enough about that part. I'm still working on my heart. You see my picture like it's art. Painting like Picasso, pull up semi-auto. Yeah, get whacked tomorrow. This ain't Grand Theft Auto. Nigga, this is real life, and I feel like we get real. I earn my real stripes. Can you put your arms around me, girl, and fuck me like the last time? And I don't mean to be a problem, but it hurt me, yeah, when I think about the bad times. I put my stick down, they gon' make me get down. So bitches on me, they gon' make a nigga flesh out. So can you put your arms around me, girl, and fuck me like the last time? Why, I, I.